I suspect that so far we have only seen the tip of the iceberg in relation to our honourable and right honourable members. Um, that the hacking extended not just to Lib Dem MPs and to Labour MPs, but to a large number of Conservative members as well. And I would urge every honourable and right honourable member who has any suspicion that they might possibly have been in, involved, uh, a, a person of interest to Mr Mulcair, and that probably includes the vast majority of us, to write to the Met to ask whether they were included. Because uh, Assistant Commissioner Yates the other day made it clear in, uh, in evidence to another select committee that he hasn't been notifying members, uh, so you have to do the work yourself. Mr Deputy Speaker, I hope that members on all sides will support this motion. This is not about one man. It is not about the one honourable member whose case has already been to court. It is, however, about what kind of investigative journalism we want in this country. Searching, yes, critical, caustic, aggressive and cynical maybe, but not illegal. And it is about whether this House will be supine when its members' phones are hacked or whether it will take action when the democratic rights of MPs to do their job without illegal let, hindrance or interception has been traduced. We have taken action before as a House. We should take action today. Yeah.